Looking back to pre-season, how has how has this year played out relative to what you thought it would be like? Yeah, look, we um, we ended the season I, I thought in a great way, you know, uh, with a great playoff run, but it did end with uh, a little bit mo of motivation for the next season. Uh, obviously, we had some unfinished business the way the New York City game went. I still think we gave gave a great effort in that, but going into preseason. Our ultimate goal is to, to lift the MLS Cup, just like every other team. It's been quite on the market for you in terms of incomings. Was that by designs or was there a struggle to identify use, useful additions to the squad? <laughs> it's a good question, actually, because uh, we have a good squad already and it's getting seemingly more difficult to bring even better players. The summer window is, budget-wise, um, the window where we usually can do smaller things. Uh, we won't sign a DP now. And then there's been a lot of interest in players like Kai Wagner and Jose Martinez. How close did either come to leaving the club recently, if at all? Uh, listen, there's always speculations, but as long as uh, there is not something on our table, mm. speaking about the concrete offer, then we shouldn't talk about that. Yeah. They are our players, they are under contract, they are happy here, mm -hmm. they are performing well, and we are happy so far as well. Yeah. Have you set any specific goals for the rest of the season or is it game by game? So just yeah, no, that's, that's good to bring up because we've actually started to talk about trying to break the MLS record for, for goals against, which, you know, we're in a good spot now. We're on, on pace to be at least make a run at it. You know, it'll take some Andre Blake heroics and a couple more shutouts, but we know that he's capable of that. Fans have clearly embraced Union style of play. Why do you think that it connects with the people of Philly? What I got told when I came here is that we are a blue color working club and uh, that fits exactly the style and the philosophy um, I brought over. It's a city where um, I think we respect everybody, but we don't fear anyone. And I think our players kind of take that onto the field. And it's been fun to work with a group that, uh, whether it's a 16-year-old making his debut, whether it's a 35-year-old who's leading us and, and running the most on the field, um, they appreciate the work that we're doing. Uh, but also just how loud it gets now um, when, when 18,000 people are cheering you on. Sometimes I don't think how, how they realize how much of a difference they make uh, in turning a, a tie into a win or pushing us down a goal uh, to come back and, and equalize and then win the game in the end. And obviously the recent under 20 success. Yeah. What does that do for the club as well? Yeah, look again, um, the, the more times the union name and badge gets shown on TV and brought up and, and, and is brought up with uh, success and, and winning competitions, especially international competitions for the USA, to have those four guys uh, be starters and contributors to qualify for uh, the Club World Cup, to qualify for the Olympics for the first time in, in a long time. Um, it puts the USA back on the map, it puts the Union on the map, and it continues to grow the game here. So, couldn't be more proud of those guys. Uh, they did a great job. Um, it also turns the heads of a lot of international scouts that are turning up at training too, which scares me because I want to keep them a little longer, but at the same time, um, uh, they're doing a great job and those kids are going to do special things in the game.